on my camera. This one's my baby. Oh, wow. Look at... Do I have a star filter lens? I think I have a star filter lens because look at that. That's so cool. I must have a star filter lens on my on my lens or star star filter on my lens. An 800 millimeter? Oh my gosh, are you taking photos of the moon? That's crazy. This one's my baby. Um, it looks like I said. I always I always do that when I want people to to get out of my way because when people see a big lens, they're like, oh. They're taking a special photo. Get out of the way. But, um, really, I'm actually not. But this is my 50 f1.2. Yeah, an 800 millimeter lens? You've got to be taking photos of the moon, right? What else do you take? A wildlife photos? Dang. That, that's a telescope. That's not a, <laughs> that's not a photography lens. That's a telescope. Let me grab all my lenses. I, I, I got a lot. I've done the moon both with a 200 and an 800, but the 800 used for wildlife. That makes sense. I don't know if an 800 would reach other celestial bodies. I'm not sure. Does it also? So my biggest lens or like, um, highest millimeter is my 85 millimeter. I really love- I have so many, like, filters for this one, like a diffusion filter that makes it look all cinematic and stuff. So this is my 85. It's like a Samyang, so it's a Korean brand that's really cheap. But Samyang is pretty good. And then I also got this Samyang, which is 24 2.8. So a little Samyang. I don't know why I can't say it American way. Samyang. Samyang is the same name as that, uh... That spicy ramen, same brand. Or not same brand, but same name. The lenses I have on back order are 12 millimeter. Whoa, 12 millimeter? That's like a fisheye. Oh, equivalent to a 35 and a 60 macro. I've got, uh, let's see, right here I've got a Zeiss. This is 16 millimeter f1.4. This one everybody uses for like webcams pretty much. So most people when they replace their a webcam with a camera, they'll usually get like a Sony a6100 camera with this because this is a crop sensor lens with this uh, Sigma f1.4 lens. And <laughs> oh, yes, ramen, a camera lens, a perfect combo. Some young. This is the Zeiss 55mm f1.8. This one's really amazing because it's so lightweight and small, but it takes beautiful photos. And this is a 40 f.2. You know, I have all these lenses, but you know, I only use this one. I only use this one. I know, I don't need them, but I don't want to sell them because like, I don't know, it's really hard to sell things here in the UK. Because here in the UK, it's not like selling in the USA. Like, you know, at least how I remember it. In America, when I would sell things on like Facebook Yard Sale, um, usually I would make the price lower, obviously, because it's used, right? So I would make the price lower. Um, but I like a fair, fair price for a used product, right? That's in good condition. But here in the UK, people sell things. Like, so if I was to look at this lens, even though it's used, someone would sell it on Facebook Yard Sale for like 200%. Like, they would be like, I used it, so it's worth more now. And then... When I tried to sell things on Facebook Yard Sale, someone would see this and they'll be like, I'll take it off your hands for five bucks. And I'll be like, I'm sorry, I won't go below this price. And they'll be like, oh, okay, bye. <laughs> but that's all they do. It's so frustrating to sell things here on second, uh, like on Facebook Yard Sale. When I was living in Korea, like, um, because there's like the American military base nearby, um, I would sell things on Facebook Yard Sale and it would be like usually American military um buying it so it'd be usually americans and i know how to deal with americans but man i do not know how to deal with selling things to the british because they are so picky and then like they're so disrespectful i feel like like the like they'll literally message me like this lens i think it's like 200 dollars, and they'll be like yeah i'll take that lens off your hands for 25 pounds and i'll be like this is a 200 pound lens and they'll be like, yeah, 25 pounds or I won't take it. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to sell it for that much. 
and then they have like secondhand stores here like they have uh it's, it's called mpb and it's like a it's like a a camera shop where you can sell your lens to that company and pretty much like i think for like this like this is a 300 dollars lens for this lens they'll give you like a hundred dollars which i understand they're a business so they have to like make money with reselling it and stuff so it's like GameStop prices, you know? Like when you give them like, you give them a stack of Xbox games like this high and GameStop's like, I'll give you 14 cents for it. It's like that. And like, I understand because they're a business and they have to make money and I worked at GameStop and I know how it is, but I don't want to trade them into that company either because I don't get a good deal. So that's why I still have all these lenses. I can't sell them because I, it's hard to deal with, <laughs> it's hard to deal with the British. <laughs>